guys, Jesse here. So today we're gonna be trying out a couple of new things. So first of all, new setup, as you guys can see, it's a little bit cleaner and I've got this nice table in front of me that I can put stuff on and interact with while I'm talking to you guys. So that's really nice. And second, this video is less scripted than my other one. So if you guys didn't know, all of my other videos, I literally write out the entire script of what I'm gonna say beforehand and just read it off of a teleprompter while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, now this is just me going at it and we'll see how it goes. And now last but not least, we're also working with a second camera angle to go along with this nice surface that I have in front of me to kind of give close up shots of whatever I might be talking about. So with that out of the way, uh, let's get into what you probably clicked on this video for. And that is uh, the new product that I have to show you guys. This is the Magflow uh, iPad holder from Chargen Pro. And uh, this thing is really cool because um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when the third gen iPad Pro came out, uh, we started to kind of ask ourselves what an iPad really was and if it could be a computer replacement. And this stand kind of takes the idea to the next level and makes it so that the form factor is more in line with what a desktop replacement might be. And if you use an iPad and can work around some of the software limitations around that, which I'm not gonna be getting into in this video, but if you can and that works for your workflow, then this is a really cool product because uh, it seems to be very high quality. Now, I haven't actually opened it and taken a look at it yet. As you can see, the shrink wrap is still on it. So uh, yeah, let's just dive right in and see what's in here. So yeah, got unboxing knife right, uh, right here. Now, I'm not sure exactly like how much uh, interest is still around this whole uh, turning the iPad into a desktop replacement thing is, but this did raise quite a bit of money on uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo. So if this is something that you might be looking for, then you should get excited. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, just gonna throw that behind me. All right, and uh, yeah, so we've got some instructions here and a little bit about the company. Now, first of all, I gotta say this packaging is really nice. That is a solid piece of aluminum. Nice. All right, here we've got nice charging cable. I believe this is gonna be six feet. Uh, screws. And last piece, I believe. Yeah, that's the last thing. This is another just solid block of aluminum. Like, my goodness, like, that's, that's nice. So this does use an Allen key, a very small one, but at least it does come with it. So you won't have to worry about that. Okay, so one discovery I just made is that these, uh, these screw holes are slightly off center so you can't you can't put it in the wrong way which is re is actually really nice because it saves you some some trouble all right there we go all right so that one is done and this is super solid wow very impressed with the build quality All right, now just to, uh, all we gotta do is kind of slot this one on. So this also only goes in one way. And also one thing to note about these top ones, and I actually, I got a note from the, the founder of Chargen Pro, and he was very 
particular about telling me not to over tighten these, these top these top two screws because apparently that's an issue that they have with a lot of the first couple of people who bought these and uh, yeah that was unfortunate apparently they did not fare so well so yeah I'm just gonna tighten it just enough so it's not moving and uh, yeah leave it there uh, looks like we do get one extra screw just in case you lose it so yeah that's nice uh, I'm just gonna put it back in the bag so I don't lose it and uh, yeah cool all right, and this is the stand. It's rotatable. Wait, I think I'm doing this backwards. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, rotatable, tiltable. So this is my iPad of choice right now. It's the third gen iPad Pro 12.9 inch and any iPad that's this generation or newer should work with this. So basically just like the, uh, the, the Apple keyboards, it just magnetizes on. And yeah, that, that is, that's solid. I mean, works as advertised. And one of the cool things about this cable is just the, the way that it's angled. It's just for, for like cable management purposes. And you just stick this butt bad boy through. And it's, it's like a U-turn cable. I've never seen anything like this before. And that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, basically you just plug it in right there and yeah, so you just kind of route it through this hole in the back and now you've got you've got a clean setup. Uh, yeah, I guess that that's probably my one complaint about this thing too though, is that like it'd be really cool if they found some way to put power into this and like, yeah, it'd be really cool if they could use these, the pogo pins on the back of the iPad and charge it that way. So that way you just don't even need the wire. But I mean, that'd probably make this a lot more expensive than it already is, so. That's okay. I don't need that for now though, so just gonna take it off. And this, this just opens up a lot of doors, like like I said. So yeah, you just get you just get this. You know, connect like a wireless keyboard and a mouse, and you're like you're you're having a time. Okay, so I've just connected this keyboard and mouse over to the the iPad now and. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, like just the the ability to bring the iPad up a couple of inches closer to eye level makes this so much more useful as a kind of computing device. And like just ergonomically, I feel a lot more comfortable right now. I'm just messing around right now, but I could definitely see how somebody could find this very useful. And just the, this, this stand, it, it, it matches the aesthetic of the iPad really well as well. So like, like uh, as far as the, like the metals go, they match the colors pretty well. Uh, the, the stand does seem to be like a touch lighter than the, the aluminum on the iPad, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty close and I don't think anybody would call you out on it. Um, one thing I am noticing though that is it doesn't have like a 90 degree lock or anything like that. Like it doesn't kind of stop you once you get to 90 degrees. Like you just kind of have to eyeball it, which I think it is fine, but yeah, that would have been nice. Um, so yeah, you can also go portrait. Uh, it does stop you when you get to full portrait though. So that's something to note. Yeah, it does. And it can go all the way, turn 180 the other way as well. Um, and th that's just really useful for if you're doing like FaceTime or something or just, you know, you're scrolling on web pages for, for long periods of time. This will let you kind of read more, more content at one time. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. That's one, one use case that I see for this. Um, the other and the one I think I'd be more excited for is probably gaming. So. If you guys didn't know, you can connect an Xbox controller to the iPad and uh, play some games. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I mean, like, look, we're we're, we're in the game now, hopping around, uh, you know, kind of slashing the air right now. But I mean, I'm I'm having a time right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is this is pretty this is pretty cool. And honestly, like, this makes me want to play the game more. 
and I mean clearly like if you if you've tried out the game you know that this is like the very very beginning of the game and I clearly haven't spent a lot of time in here but yeah so that's really cool and I guess like last case uh, and I'll put up some b-roll for this in a second because my laptop is connected to a bunch of things right now but last thing that I think that this would be really great for is if you like to use sidecar like if you so if you guys don't know what that is basically allows you to use the iPad as a secondary display for your MacBook and that's really great because if you've ever used multiple monitors before you know how much of a boost in productivity that can give you so if you have your laptop on a stand which I do recommend because it brings it up closer to eye level making it so that you don't have to strain your neck down which will cause some pain over time then this will bring the iPad screen up also closer to your eye level as well. So you don't have to kind of be looking up and then down and then up and then down every time you switch windows. So that's really nice. So yeah, anyways, that's the MagFloat by ChargeGen Pro. And guys like this, this is a really cool product. And I'll have a link below in the description if you're interested in getting one of these. And yeah, so I don't think it's for everybody because it is a little bit on the pricey side for like a stand but if this is something that you need i think it's i mean it definitely is good quality like let's let's get that out of the way right now but yeah if this is something that you want and something that will fit your workflow then yeah i'd say i say solid recommendation for me so yeah anyways those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Remember to smash that like button. And if you enjoy content like this, think about subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.